Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create two interactive Excel charts charting the exponential distribution's probability density function and its cumulative distribution function. Notice the chart on the left is the cumulative distribution function. It varies in value from 0 to 1. And the chart on the right is the probability density function. It's a declining function because the exponential distribution is used to predict the probability of occurrence at or up to a certain time of an event that's the result of a decaying or declining process, as we see here in the probability density function. There's one parameter, lambda. Let's vary that and watch the interactivity be reflected in the chart. So changing lambda from 0.2 to 0.5 changes the chart, and bringing lambda from 0.2 to 0.8, hitting enter, and we see the change in the chart. Let's bring back our original numbers, 0.5 for lambda, and that's what we're going to create, these two charts with interactivity. Now we need to create the X and Y data for those two charts. We're going to do that right now. Now let's take a look at the Y data. First we'll take a look at the cumulative distribution function and we see in cell C33 that's the formula right there. We're going to be dragging these formulas down. Probability density function in cell D33 that's the formula right there and we notice the red true in the cumulative distribution function as opposed to the false in the probability density function. Let's take a look at the inputs the inputs for cumulative distribution function and for the probability density function, hitting the precedence button in Excel 2003, are both the lambda and the t, as they should be. Let's erase those arrows. And now we're going to create the x-axis data. That would be t. t starts with 0, and the second cell equals the previous cell plus 1. And we're going to drag that formula down. The way we do that, we highlight the cell, then put the cursor in the corner of the cell till the x appears, and then drag that down as far as we need to. So we have values from 1 to 20. That's for the x-axis. Now let's create the y-axis data. I'll remove the blue color so we don't drag that down. We're going to drag down one column at a time. We could do both at one time, but we're going to do just one column at a time, just like we did before. Put the cursor on the cell, move the cursor to the corner to see the x, and then drag the cell block down. Now we have the X and Y data for both charts. And let's put that blue collar back in there as we had it before. And now we're going to create our charts. This is Excel 2003. It's pretty straightforward. Hit Insert Chart. And it's an area chart. That will be the second variation of the area chart. Next, the data is in columns. And let's add our data. So Series, Add. Okay, and the name of the chart is the probability, we're creating the probability density function here, so the probability of event occurring at time t given the function's lambda. And as soon as we put in that label and hit enter, we'll see that appear on the chart. There it is. And the values, delete what's currently in there, hit the square in the corner go select probability density function values, select the whole column of values, then when you finish selecting hit that square in the corner of the dialog box, and now we're going to do the same thing for the x-axis. Now select everything under T, that's the x-axis, T, hit the square in the corner of the dialog box, and all of the x and y-axis data is in there. Hit, uh, now we're going to put the chart title in there, and this is the exponential distribution's probability density function. As soon as we type that in there and hit enter, we'll see that chart title appear on the chart. Okay, there it is. Category X time T. And then next. Now hit finish. Okay. And we're going to drag that up and put it over the first one. We're actually going to put it over the cumulative distribution function. So we'll put the probability density function graph to the right, and we're going to create the cumulative distribution function and put it on the left. Okay. So let's go down and uh, create the graph for the cumulative distribution function. Insert, chart, area chart, first variation. Next, data in columns. Add the first and one and only series of Y data. And that would be the probability of event occurring up to time t given the function's lambda. Since it is the cumulative distribution function, it would be the probability of the event occurring up to. Okay. We 
enter. We'll see that uh, chart label get put right in there. There it is. Now delete what's currently in that box and go select the values for the cumulative distribution function. Just highlight all the values in that column. Hit the little square in the dialog box. Now do the same thing for the x-axis data. That would be time t. Go select everything at time t. When you select it, hit the square in the corner of that dialog box. It puts the data in the chart. Hit next and then the chart title. That would be the exponential distribution cumulative distribution function. And once we type it in, we hit enter and we'll see that chart title immediately get put into the chart. There it is. Time T. Next. Finish. All right, well, let's drag that chart up and put it next to our probability density function and uh, put it in there. Resize the chart properly size it properly and then we're going to check the interactivity. Um, we're going to vary the lambda from 0.5 to different numbers and we'll watch the interactivity get reflected in the two charts. So now we have our charts right next to each other. Probability density on the right, cumulative distribution function on the left, and we're going to vary the parameter, the one and only parameter, lambda, from 0.5 to 0.2 we see the changes in the chart. 0.2 to 0.9. Okay, we see the change in the chart. And then 0.9 back to 0.5. And there we have it. We have made the chart correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.